of this. A pre-feasibility report is a document that provides preliminary assessment of the proposed project's feasibility and potential environmental impacts by outlining the scope, objectives, activities and possible effects on the environmental and local communities as per the standards laid down by the authorities. These reports include a description of the project site, its geology, topography, hydrology and climate. It also covers the proposed project's technology, production process, inputs and outputs and waste management measures. Hello and welcome to Cobbiz. My name is Shalin and let's get started with the video. The pre-feasibility report is submitted along with the application for environmental clearance that is form 1. It helps the regulatory authorities make informed decisions and ensure that the project complies with the environmental regulations and policies. The pre-feasibility of a project should include the following preliminary analysis. First is need and option analysis, then legal feasibility, technical feasibility, scoping, social, environmental, safeguard analysis, preliminary financial viability including expectations of the required government financial support, institutional capability analysis, identification of the next steps required. Let's now understand how to create a pre-feasibility report. If you are a project proponent, you will require the assistance of a certified EIA consultant during this stage. Here are the three key points to develop an effective pre-feasibility report. First is comprehensive analysis. A pre-feasibility study should comprehensively analyze the proposed project. It should cover all aspects of the project including its scope, objectives, activities and potential environmental, social and economic impacts. The report should analyze the technical and financial feasibility including project's cost, potential revenue streams and investment requirements. The next is accurate data and information. The report should be based on factual data and information obtained from reliable sources. The project proponent should thoroughly study the project site and its surrounding and gather relevant data and information to assess the project's potential environmental impacts. The pre-feasibility studies during the environmental clearance should also include reporting on pertinent information on the project's technology, production process, inputs and outputs, and waste management measures. The next is clear and concise language. The report should be written in a clear and concise language that is easily understandable by the stakeholders including the regulatory authorities, investors and local communities. Technical terms and jargons should be avoided and complex ideas should be explained. The report should also be well organized and easy to navigate with clear headings and subheadings. It should include an executive summary to provide an overview of the report's main findings and recommendations. It must be noted that industrial projects located in any of the following notified ecologically or fragile and sensitive areas must require environmental clearance irrespective of the type of project. So these areas include biosphere reserves, national parks and sanctuaries, national lakes and swamps, seismic zones, tribal settlements, areas of scientific and geological interest, religious and historical places, archaeological monuments, scenic areas, estuaries, gulf areas, international border areas, airports, defense installations that are of security importance and sensitive to pollution, and finally coastal areas that are rich in mangroves, coral and breeding grounds for specific species of fishes. Now, if you are project proponent, you may wonder what is the significance of a pre-feasibility study during the environmental clearance process and why one should go for a detailed study. So let's understand the requirement of the study one by one. The first is to determine the viability of the project. A pre-feasibility report assesses the project's viability based on the potential opportunities and benefits associated. Secondly, it defines the prerequisites of the environmental clearance as per the EIA notification of 2006. The pre-feasibility report is prerequisite for obtaining prior EC and is required along with the application for environmental clearance. Finally, this reporting leads to the identification of technical and financial feasibility. A pre-feasibility study can provide a detailed analysis of the project's cost, potential revenue streams and investment requirements, which can help make informed decisions regarding the project's implementation. So, 
that's all for this topic but before i leave i would like to bring to your attention the importance of expert assistance in case you want to develop a pre feasibility study for your project industries that require environmental clearance will require a report irrespective of the fact that they need eia or not this report will help in the assessment of the project's feasibility by conducting a pre feasibility study project proponent can ensure that the project is environmentally sustainable and financially viable while addressing the concerns of all stakeholders involved so you can contact our certified consultants and get started with your environmental clearance process remember to like and subscribe if you found our work helpful thank you for watching